Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design. I'm Dage and today we're gonna create this awesome text on text effect. Let's start by creating a new 1920 by 1080 pixels document with a 150 ppi resolution, an RGB color mode, and a black background. I'll drag my foreground text layer and drop it here. I'll hold down the shift key, resize it, rotate it 15 degrees, reposition it, and hit enter to confirm. Next, go ahead and grab the horizontal type tool and click and drag to create a text box. I'll set the text color to white and I'll write two minute design in all caps. Why, you may ask? Well, it's none of your business. My video, my channel, my life. So I'll copy it and paste it several times. By the way, my font size is 12 points. It all depends on the font you're using. And you can select all the text and click here to open the character panel and change the leading, which is the distance between lines. So keep copying until you fill the whole text box. And with the type tool still selected, I'm gonna expand the text box beyond the canvas limits. And then make sure it's all filled with text. Great. Click the move tool, right click on the text layer and convert it to a smart object. I'll set its opacity to 15% and hit Ctrl Command T to free transform. Hold down the shift key and rotate the layer 15 degrees and then hit enter to confirm. Now let's create a selection around the foreground text. Hold down Ctrl or Command and click once on the layer's thumbnail. Turn off the visibility of the layer. Click here to create a new adjustment layer and select solid color. Set it to white and hit OK. Make sure you put this layer on top, select it, and change its blending mode to color dodge. Awesome, isn't it? Finally, let's create a cool vignette. Select the ellipse tool. Make sure the fill color is set to black. Click once on the canvas and set its dimensions to 1920 by 1080 pixels, same as the canvas size. Check from center and hit OK. Align it correctly with the move tool. And in the properties panel, under path operations, make sure subtract from shape is activated. And then click here to edit the mask. We're just gonna increase the feather all the way to 100 pixels. Finally, I'll set the vignette's opacity to 80%. Why, you may ask? 